Hello and welcome to our kitchen here in Brittany in Northwest France. My name is Jane, my husband Michael is behind the camera. We are early retirees in our mid 50s, debt and mortgage free and every Friday we open our kitchen and share with you some really thrifty family friendly recipes. So let's take a look at what we've cooked this week. Ah, this week I feel as if I'm channeling my inner great British Bake Off because this week is Pie Week. Now, I have made it with gluten-free pastry. Do not fear if you are a lover of all things glutinous because I will put the recipe below and a link just in case you want to make regular pastry. But today I made it with gluten-free pastry. Oh, you'll love what I cooked today. I made an absolute British classic, a corned beef and potato pie. People of our age grew up on food like that. Now the next one is my spin on a classic Mediterranean pie, which could be pronounced Spanakopita or Spanakopita. I have no idea, but it's basically spinach and feta. Now normally it would be in phyllo pastry, lots of layers of crispy, delicate phyllo pastry, but I couldn't find any gluten-free and I certainly can't make it. So I just put it in gluten-free pastry. It came out really delicious. Oh, we loved it. So there we go. Those are our recipes for this week. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be making gluten-free pastry for both the spanakopita and the corned beef and potato pie. And you'll notice I'm just going to make everyday, easy to make, short crust pastry for these. Not flaky pastry, I've not bought phyllo pastry, any of those things. I'm all about using what you've got and it includes the skills of what you have. And if you want to go ahead and make rough puff pastry or flaky pastry, you go ahead. But I am just going to make this and I'm going to make it in my food processor. And here are the ingredients for my pastry. I have gluten-free flour. I have xanthan gum. I have salt. I'll need an egg. And I need some kind of fat, either butter, lard, this is cooking margarine. And those are my ingredients to make my pastry. There'll be a link below that you can go and I'll have the pastry recipe all written out for gluten-free pastry. And that'll be over on our website. So the link will be below. Here is my finished pastry for my two pies. All pastry, whether it's regular pastry or gluten-free pastry, once you've made it, it needs to go in the fridge to chill for at least one hour. I find pastries equally good if you make it in the morning and use it in the afternoon. There we go. Also, if you wanted to make two lots whilst you were making it, you could pop one into a Ziploc bag, into a plastic bag, seal it up and pop it in the freezer and defrost it when you need to use it in the future. Here's the ingredients for my corned beef and potato pie. Let's start off with, of course, we've got a tin of corned beef. Let's have a look, see how much is in there. 
you know, I do not know. There we go, 340 grams of corned beef. That's corned beef. I have three potatoes that I will peel, two small onions that I will peel and dice, and two carrots that I will peel and slice. I will also add in a couple of sticks of celery that I will peel and dice. Those are my ingredients. together. I sautéed my celery and my onions in some oil. I part cooked my potatoes and carrots. They're all going to go in. I have my corned beef into big chunks, it all melts in. I have what we call in the UK brown sauce. It's a condiment that goes on cooked breakfast, bacon and eggs, maybe even with cheese, on toast. And it's basically a condiment that is Worcestershire sauce flavour. We say Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce flavour. And here, beg your pardon, I have half a cupful of stock, which is a stock cube and water. I'm going to add maybe approximately a tablespoon of brown sauce. You could add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to add that to everything here. And then I'm just going to leave it to cool. And that is my pie filling all ready. So I've taken my pastry out of the fridge and I'm just going to let it stand at room temperature for five to ten minutes just to soften a little bit. You see I've got two pie tins here. One you can see is about the size of my hand. We'll serve four. This one is a deep one. We'll also serve two to four. Two to four. Um, I seem to have a lot of pie filling so I will probably have pastry left over from the two pastry dishes I am making today. And if I have enough pastry left and enough filling left, I'll make another pie, but I'll put it in the freezer. the finished pie and tonight's supper at the same time. So you can see we've got the pie, it's absolutely packed full of corned beef and vegetables and then we've got over here for our dinner tonight 
corned beef and potato pie and we've got some steamed savoy cabbage and carrots with it. And being as we're British, it's got to have gravy. It's absolutely yummy. It's so cheap to make and I don't think my gluten-free pastry came out too badly at all. Here's my ingredients for my spinach and cheese pie. You'll have to excuse my pronunciation, I've never heard the name actually being said. It'll be either Spanakopita or Spanakopita, one or the other, and I'm not sure. However, mine is not authentic, because as you can see here, I've got regular gluten-free pastry. You can buy puff pastry, you can buy phyllo pastry to make this the traditional way. You can also see here that I'm going to add a very, very finely diced potato to this because the suggestion was to add bulgar wheat. I don't have any bulgar wheat and I don't even know if I could possibly eat it. I haven't got fresh spinach, I've got frozen spinach. And I'll link to the recipe below. I'll write it out and get it up on the website. So I have Greek style cheese, which is not authentic. I have frozen spinach, an onion, one potato. I'm gonna add some parsley. The recipe has all sorts of fresh herbs. Well, that's the fresh herbs I've got. And then I've got some pastry that I've already made, an egg to brush this, but to bind it all inside the pie, I will also add one more egg. my oven to 200 degrees centigrade. Now, although this is a pie, this is kind of going to be Greece meets France. And I'm going to make this in the shape of a petitier, and you'll see what I mean when I make it. I'll put a disc of pastry onto the sheet, I'll put my ingredients on top of the pastry, put another layer of pastry over the top, and then seal it. So that's what I will do. But I've just got a baking tray and I've put baking paper on it. To be honest with you, I cannot be doing with the stress of worrying if my pastry is going to stick to the tin. I like to eat it, not have a fight with it. the finished, gluten-free, my version of a spankopita or spanakopita. And uh, I'm gonna cut it into about six pieces and we'll have some. And this is just plain old salad. I have made some homemade coleslaw. So let's get some of this onto a plate. And here is the finished spinach 
feta and with the addition of some potato, gluten free Spanakopita or Spanakopita. Who knows? I have no idea. And I've made some homemade coleslaw, which is white cabbage shredded with shredded onion, some carrot, some mayonnaise, a dash of vinegar, and in this case, I've added a little creme fraiche. And as you can see, there is the pie. Cheap, very, very, very delicious. Oh, I'm looking forward to eating this for my dinner. If you've stayed this far, you must really like thrifty recipes. So what I want you to do, so you don't miss any at all, is hit the subscribe button because it doesn't cost you anything and it helps you make sure you never miss our videos. So make sure you hit that little bell too. I ask you just one thing, go on, hit the like button. It really does help us. Now, I love to ask you a question because I love it when you comment. I really, really do. I read every comment and I reply to every comment. So tell me, what do you put in a pie? What's your favourite pie? Do you make your own pastry? Do you make your own pie crust? Share with us all. And on that note, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.